Imagine a large archipelago such as the Philippines, filled with towering bridges connecting every part of the country. With every bridge, a new pathway emerges. As you travel through these marvels of modern engineering, you witness bustling cities giving way to serene landscapes. This is the vision of the Philippines' ambitious mega-projects. If you think about it, a modern city with luxury highways, airports, and even seaports can revolutionize tourism and accelerate a better economy. Is this one of those plans that becomes a reality? Or will it end up as one of those abandoned projects we once witnessed? In this video, we'll explore the transformative impact of major infrastructure projects on enhancing connectivity among the Philippine Islands. In December 2023, the Philippines became the fastest growing economy in Southeast Asia, boasting a remarkable growth rate of about 5.6%, narrowly missing the government's target range of 6 to 7%. If projections remain steady, the Philippines will likely continue its impressive growth trajectory in 2024 amidst its global economic challenges. They will splurge 8.3 trillion pesos to make some of the biggest innovations ever. These infrastructural projects go beyond simple building and enhancing the current railway system. Could this be the evolution we've all been waiting for? Well, wait until the end to have a better picture of it. In addition to airports and seaports, Bridges play a crucial role in enhancing connectivity across the Philippines. They facilitate the efficient transportation of goods on a large scale, provide safe and convenient travel options for residents and tourists, and foster economic growth in rural areas. One of the flagship projects under the Marcos administration's Build Better, More program is the Bridge Network, which builds upon the previous administration's infrastructure initiatives. The recent completion of the iconic toll bridge linking Cebu City mainland to Cordova in Mactan Island is one of the successes of this initiative. Spanning 8.9 kilometers with a width of 27 meters, this bridge is a crucial alternate route to the Mactan Cebu International Airport, accommodating an estimated 50,000 vehicles daily. Meanwhile, there are three major projects in the Build Better More initiative. The Department of Public Works and Highways, the DPWH, aims to wrap up the initial phase of the Panay Gaimes Negros or PGN Bridges project by 2028, coinciding with President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr.'s term. The Panay Gaimes Negros Island Bridges project will cover 32.5 kilometers, interconnecting Panay, Gaimes, and Negros Islands in Region 6. This ambitious project necessitates engineering works of the highest standard requiring consultants well-versed in long-span bridge construction to assist the Department of Public Works and Highways in efficient and timely project preparation. The DPWH Regional Director, Sonny Boy O. Oropel, revealed this timeline during an interview at the groundbreaking ceremony for the West Visaya State University College of Law Building, where construction is underway. The ambitious venture encompasses the construction of two sea-crossing bridges spanning 32.47 kilometers, along with connecting roads and interchanges. The first segment, stretching 13 kilometers, will link Panay Island to Gaimes Island, while the second segment will be the link between Gaimes and Negros, which will be complemented by road construction totaling approximately 5.5 kilometers and road connectors covering 0.87 kilometers, with a combined length of 19.5 kilometers. This initiative aligns with the Philippine National Development Strategy's vision of establishing safer, faster, and more convenient transportation routes among the islands of Panay, Gaimes, and Negros, ensuring smooth passage for passengers and vehicles, regardless of their weather conditions. According to the DPWH project brief dated February 2nd, the construction of these bridges will significantly slash travel time between Panay and Negros Islands, reducing it from three to four hours by ferry boat to less than an hour by car and commuters. In early 2022, the Philippines secured a loan of $56.6 million from the Republic of Korea for the engineering services of the Panay Gaimes Negros Island Bridges. In May 2022, the Department of Finance and the Export Import Bank of Korea exchanged a ceremonial loan agreement. Following the loan guidelines issued by the KEXIM Economic Development Cooperation Fund in September, a notice of concurrence was issued for the shortlisted consultants for the detailed engineering design. Oropel announced that the highest-ranked consortium of five contractors had been awarded the consulting services contract for the detailed engineering design, the DED, and tender assistance project. The notice of award has already been issued, 
and the DPWH and the joint venture engineering firms formalized the 2.671 billion peso contract on December 20th of the preceding year. Additionally, the DED process for the Gaimas to Negro segment is ongoing and is slated for completion by the end of December 2025. Mobilization efforts, including deploying experts and equipment, are underway, with topographical and bathymetrical survey teams expected to be dispatched this February. Another project that's underway is the Davao to Samal Bridge project. During a recent media forum, the National Economic and Development Authority, Davao Region, Nida Davao, confirmed that the Samal Island Davao City Connector, or SIDC, also known as the Davao Samal Bridge Project, is progressing forward despite legal hurdles related to property and road rights. The Davao to Samal Bridge is a 3.98 kilometer connector bridge approved for construction between the island garden city of Samal and Davao City, and saw President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. leading the groundbreaking ceremony in October last year. With a budget of 23.4 billion pesos, this bridge project aims to accommodate at least 25,000 vehicles daily by 2027, improving access to employment, education, and social services on Samal Island, while facilitating travel between the island city and Davao del Norte province. Arturo Milan, the co-chair of RDC Davao, NATO board member for regional development, private sector representative for Mindanao, and chairman of One Mindanao Business Club, made this announcement during the Javi at Capi press conference held on January 10, 2024. Financed mostly by a loan from China, specifically facilitated by the China Road and Bridge Corporation, the project's alignment was carefully determined through an extensive study, prioritizing environmental considerations and navigational safety for both sea and air transport. Following the groundbreaking, the Department of Public Works and Highways will conduct land surveys and geotechnical investigations, proceeding with detailed engineering designs before commencing construction. The megastructure project, initiated in February 2020, has now surpassed 60% completion. However, the four-lane bridge spanning 3.98 kilometers, a key component of this plan, is currently under construction with an estimated cost of 23.04 billion pesos, funded by China's official development assistance. Anticipated to be toll-free upon completion in 2027, it will connect the Samal Circumferential Road in Barangay Limao, Island Garden City of Samal, and Davao City between the R. Castillo and Dang Maharlika junctions. In the long run, the Philippine government, through the Department of Public Works and Highways, remains committed to enhancing and expanding road networks, including inter-island bridges, to meet the growing demands of the country's economy. The Bataan Cavite Interlink Bridge, a marvel spanning 32 kilometers and 150 meters wide, boasts four lanes and a cable-stayed design. Its impressive stretch covers 17 kilometers between Cavite and over 14 kilometers between Pataan and Corregidor Island. This groundbreaking project entails the construction of two cable-stayed navigation bridges, the North Channel Bridge, featuring a main span of 400 meters, and the South Channel Bridge, boasting a 900-meter span at a water depth of approximately 50 meters. Linking Bataan in the north and Cavite in the south, these bridges unite the adjacent provinces of Metro Manila. The introduction of this cable state bridge drastically reduces travel time from over five hours to a mere 30 minutes between Bataan and Cavite, accommodating an estimated 30,000 vehicles daily. This significant time savings not only enhances convenience for businesses and traders in the region, but also fosters sustained economic growth for both provinces. As a strategic intervention to alleviate Metro Manila's perennial traffic congestion, the Bataan Cavite Interlink Bridge opens up new avenues for expansion and economic development beyond the metropolis. With investors already establishing industries, this project sets the stage for promising new land and marine viaduct highways connecting regions in central Luzon and Calabarzon. Approved by the National Economic and Development Authority with a budget of 175.7 billion pesos, this monumental project will be financed through multilateral funding from the Asian Development Bank. With an anticipated implementation period of six years, the Bataan Cavite Interchange Bridge is on track for completion, with design works already halfway done as of September 2022. As of March 2023, the project's detailed engineering design is already 70% complete. 
However, construction of the bridge is targeted to start this year. In conclusion, completing the PGN bridge project, Davao to Samal Bridge, and Bataan Cavite Interlink Bridge programs would signify the Philippines' commitment to building a brighter future. It would be the first step toward a more connected and inclusive future. Ultimately, this program will create communities that are not only livable, but also sustainable. On the other hand, it'll promote resource management while reducing disaster risks and adapting to climate change. So what do you think about this program? Will the Build Better More initiative be able to achieve all these projects? We'd love to know your thoughts in the comments section. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more related content like this.